The local government of Polilio, Quezon, has ordered to suspend the operations of Murcraft after one of their vessels caught fire at sea on Monday. Mon Gualves with the report. At least seven people were declared dead and dozens were injured after this fast craft vessel caught fire as it approaches Real Quezon. While some passengers were able to jump off, some were said to be trapped inside the vessel. Authorities tried to revive Shirley Davila's husband to no avail. They were with their grandchildren to visit family and celebrate their anniversary. Napakasakit po talaga sir, na mawala ng asawa. Kami po may binubuhay na dalawang apo. Ito po yata ang panibarsari sa akin na tadhana. Wally Calieja considers himself lucky to have survived. Ako na wala ng malay ay. Oo, nung ako yan, eh, hindi ko na alam. Talagang gawa na ako eh, sa dami na nainom kong tubig. At saka yung paglubog-lubog ko. Pinipilit ko talagang lumuta ng kuwan ah. Meanwhile, others recall how they jumped off the vessel despite having no life jackets. Sin pong pagan namin, lumutang po yung bag ko. Yung pong bag ko ang kinapitan namin parehas ng pamangkin ko. Based on Philippine Coast Guard's initial investigation, the fire may have started due to engine error. Ang napansin lang nila, miglang mi pumutok. Pwede pumutok sa ilalim sa uh, ang ano namin sa engine room. At pagkasunod noon ay apoy na. It's either nag-overheat or nag uh, mi something doon na uh, related dun sa engine ng barko na biglang pumutok. A board of marine inquiry has also been convened. This is the second time Mercraft has been involved in an accident. The first was in 2017 when one of its vessels sank. This prompted the local government of Polilio to order the suspension of Mercraft's operations in their vicinity. For News 5, Mon Gualvez, We Are One News.